Ah, it's the first day of the morning uh, with these new power walls behind me. They're getting charged up from the solar. So I thought I'd just do a little walk through um, during the daytime so you can see what the setup is. And we'll have a look at the solar production, see what that's doing right now. So it's nice and sunny here at the moment. Um, we do have a little bit of clouds going on up there, but um, we've got some nice sun going on. Uh, that's power wall number four. Then you've got, oh, I'll just show you how, you've got a little isolator here where the unit runs through the wall up to the conduit up there, and then that runs all the way back to the gateway. Very nice install there. And then we look at power wall three. Same thing again. It's got its little junction box, isolator. Um, all these units have on the side of them another on-off switch as well. Um, and you can see there, you can flip that up and then you can turn it off. Um, you can get a padlock on there if you want to, if they are in the general public area where someone gets a giggle out of turning off things. Um, we'll come down here to the power wall number two and that install again just different different place conduit runs through there isolators up there again back up to towards the ceiling up into the gateway now, that unit has been installed since April it's going great and then power wall two this one here you can see a little junction box here there's no isolator on this one um, it's all pictured inside the gateway so the gateway has all the brains in there. And uh, yeah, we've got a little stickers, everything like that on there. Um, we're gonna go around to the garage and have a look at what production we're doing right now. All right, so we're now in the garage. You've got the SunGrow inverter up on the wall there. Um, you can just tap on that button there. Oh, there you go. We're doing 4.9 at the moment. And uh, that's the five kilowatt inverter. So that's awesome for this time of day. What is it? Almost 10. And then down on the other side here, we've got the sofa inverter. This one's about two years old, it's still doing what I need it to do. And you can see there it's generating 4.43 kilowatt of power at the moment. And I'm gonna pan over to the Tesla app so you can see stuff. Okay, so now we're in the Tesla app and you can very clearly see that we're producing 9.2 kilowatt of solar. The house is using 0 0.2 um, and you got nine kilowatt of that energy going straight into those four separate power walls. Um, this is the first morning where I've seen um, our additional solar panels being utilized and generating a significant more amount of electricity. If I didn't add those other panels on, Around 10 o'clock in the morning, we're seeing close to about, oh, I'd say four kilowatt of generation. Um, and then coming up to close to about midday, that's where we see a peak of about 6.8, close to seven. So given that it's still two hours away from midday and we're already pumping out these kind of numbers, this is quite impressive. Um, you can go into the energy tab there and um, we can go in the solar tab. And you can already see for today, 17.2 kilowatt hours. We did start a little bit slow this morning uh, with some cloud cover. So that's why our production wasn't as much this morning. You can see there, 3.2, 3.6, 2.7, 2 and then bam, we start getting a lot higher. Um, first morning seems to be very successful. We'll keep you posted. So there you have it. It's doing things. It's generating electricity from the sky. I'm oh, sorry, from the sun. It's going onto my panels. It's going into these inverters behind me. And then that being you know, pushed into the batteries for the home storage. Any extra additional, if I wanted to, if I was here during the day, I could utilize charge on solar. So excess would not be going to the grid. It would just be going straight to my Tesla vehicle. You know, but it really depends on where, where I am. If I'm busy working during the day, I'm not here at home. So that's why we've got the extra batteries and uh, we'll continue to see how the benefits on those systems are. Also last little bit here, you got the Gen 3 wall connectors behind me as well. So they're doing their things just hanging up on the wall. But um, if I need to use them to charge my car, they're great. They're doing their things as well.